Hey everyone, my name is Brian, I'm the 3D print creator and well, this is the start of a new year. 2020 started today, it's the 1st of January and what a great start this was for me because well, I reached 5000 subscribers today, really on the 1st of January 2020 my channel has grown to 5000 subscribers and I want to thank you all for making this happen. This really is something which is mind-blowing for me and, and I can't thank you enough for hitting that subscribe button and, and well liking my videos, liking what I do, commenting on the videos and thank you all. Now this year I'm going to do a lot more videos so if you're not subscribed already well please do so because I'm going to bring a whole lot more videos uh, in this year. Now this video is all about the Nulai filament that I've got on the table here and also some prints that I made with this filament. And they reached out to me and said, well Brian, are you willing to, yeah, to do some filament tests for us? And I said, well, of course, I would love to. And then they should send me three filaments, uh, but I saw a fourth one on their website and I asked for the, that fourth one as well. And they also sent that one to me. And those filaments are uh, here, they're antique gold, they're normal gold, they're silk blue, those are all three silk filaments. And then uh, I asked for this one, uh, which is the, the rainbow effect filament that they have. Uh, and I saw it on their website and, and well, I, I got in love with it and I said, well, can you send me that spool as well? Because I want to review that as well. And they said yes and gave me four filaments to, to review. Now, um, I've done uh, yeah, a lot of printing, which uh, what I could do, uh, and it took me a long time before I made this review, because uh, I got these filaments back in November, and uh, then it took me until today to really make this review happen, and uh, this is all because of my health issues. Uh, I've got a kidney stone, which is very, very difficult to remove. Uh, I've been in and out the hospital a few times now, uh, and there is a surgery planned for next week. Uh, then I will be uh, under surgery, and there will be another surgery a, a week later, and I already had two surgeries. And well, this is all because of those kidney stones. Um, they are very, very difficult in, in where they are uh, in my body. So yeah, kind of bad luck for me. Now I've been printing uh, at first with this one. Uh, this is the antique cold silk filament. And I've been printing this uh, Christmas tree with it. And I really like the shine. It, it's really it, it gives me a very nice gold feeling. If you watch this, it really looks like gold. And they say it's their antique gold, but I have to say I like this gold more than I like that gold. And uh, well, it, it's me, uh, but I just like this one more than that one. Then I started printing with their normal gold filament and their normal gold filament, well, uh, it, it looks like this, uh, but there is a difference between those two. And this difference, uh, yeah, it has, has got everything to do with the temperature I was printing at. This is printed at 210 degrees Celsius. And then all the shine goes away. So uh, all these, these nice reflections and all the shine well, it, it disappeared, and this was all because of the temperature. Then I lowered my temperature for this print, and I brought it to 200 degrees Celsius. And look at how beautiful the shine is on that print. It, it really brought back all the shine and, and all the... Yeah, it, it looks nice. And this was also printed at 200 degrees Celsius. Now, with the rainbow filament, uh, which is this filament, I started printing at 200 degrees Celsius and then not all the layers uh, adhered yeah, very well. So I increased the, the temperature and I printed it at 210 degrees Celsius and then those colors come really, yeah, come out very nice. So this is printed at 210 degrees Celsius and well it really looks nice and also the miniatures here uh, they're also printed with that same filament but yeah, because they are so small, uh, they only have one color. 
Uh, but you can see there is a, a little color difference between the, the different miniatures. And well, this was because I was printing that with this same filament. And uh, the idea was, but it, it went too slow for it, uh, the idea was to print out uh, about 60 of those miniatures and then have them fade from one color to another color. But it turned out that if I would have printed 60 uh, of those small miniatures, uh, then it still would be in kind of the same red. Uh, and therefore I stopped that project and I printed this moon. Now, I also uh, printed in this blue, which you can see over here, which is this filament. Uh, this is their silk blue and uh, it's a really nice filament and it has an added value for me at least because I've got the artillery printer which I love so much and I want to do some slight modifications on that printer and this blue happens to be the perfect blue to print those modifications for that printer that has a lot of blue in it uh, which is really shiny blue because it's aluminium and or aluminum and well this seems to be the perfect blue to make that kind of parts. So uh, this is my double cooler that I made for that printer and uh, well yeah th there are more parts coming soon uh, which are all made of this really nice silk blue which happens to be the perfect color for the artillery uh, add-ons. Now what do I think about this filament? Well I, I think that it's, it's a good filament, it's very nice, it prints very nice. Uh, the silk filaments have to be printed at 200 degrees Celsius uh, to get a nice shine on it. Uh, while the, the, uh, the color changing filament had to be printed on 210 degrees to get the best adherence w uh, with it. So, so it adheres to the bed the best and, and well, yeah, that, that was how I had to print that. And also this orange filament, uh, which I happen to have laying around, which is also the same brand, it's also new life filament. Uh, this I, I print at 210 degrees Celsius. Now uh, I've been uh, testing these filaments and I really, I love them. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of good filaments. There are so many great PLA filament. So why, why should you think of this brand instead of other brands? Well, at first, and I didn't know this before, uh, but this company makes filament for, uh, filaments for a lot of other companies. I do happen to have some of the same silk gold from other companies, which I recently reviewed. I, I do happen to have some of this blue from another company, which I also happened to review shortly uh, ago. And well, it seems to be that Nulai is the, the company that makes the filament and that sells it under their own brand, but also under some other brands. And uh, well, you can get the same filament from, uh, from multiple companies, uh, but Nulai is really the one who made the filament. Now, that said, um, their filament is also uh, very cheap. You can buy it online for very decent prices. And this is the reason why I think uh, it deserves a review like this, because uh, they're a filament manufacturer. Uh, they really produce very nice filaments, and I think their filaments are really uh, yeah, on par with, with other bigger companies uh, that sell their filaments for a higher price. So this is it about the new life filament. Um, I hope you liked this review. Uh, if so, well, check out the link in the description which leads to the new life webshop uh, where you can buy their filaments. And uh, as I said, uh, they have very competitive prices against other brands. And uh, yeah, I think I think they make very, very nice filaments, etc., etc. So, well, check them out uh, because they are such a great company uh, with, with yeah, great things. Let's take a look if you recognize some of the things that you see on their website. Now, thanks for watching. Uh, I will be doing much more videos this year. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell button to get notified every time I make a new video. And uh, well, if you liked this video, then please also give it a like and all the best wishes for, for this year, which is 
uh, of course great and well i'll see you guys next time bye bye thanks for watching